some rules and regulations, so we're going to switch gears. Jason Nelson says, shift in the atmosphere, right? Yes. So when I bring her up, I don't want you to clap for her. I want you to... Come on, some of y'all have been to the cafe. Calm down. You still know Jesus. Snap your finger. All right. So make it real, real smooth with you, let me tell you that. We have a special guest tonight. She's going to bring us a special treat. She's going to bring up poetry. She has a way with words. This young poet is a Philadelphia native, yay, and has been featured on HBO's Great New Voices. She's traveled the country helping to mentor upcoming poets. Tonight, she has prepared a piece just for this occasion. Let's show some snack love, ladies and gentlemen, to no bad scales. People. Give a round of applause for yourselves for just coming out here and supporting this great cause. You know, the first time I heard of the gift of life, I didn't really know much about it. I didn't know what it had to do with, and I met Miss Vanessa. And she was gracious enough to take me on a tour of the building, and I said, you know what, wow, what have I been missing out on? I just said yes to organ donation and I didn't even know what it meant. And so I decided to write a piece just for everyone in this room. The gift of life, everyone in this room. And I hope you enjoy it. In 30 seconds, you can wake up, stand to your feet, open the blinds to a new sunshine. In 30 seconds, you can pour a cup of coffee, sit at your desk, turn on the computer, in just 30 seconds, you can greet five people, smile 15 times, and breathe 15 breaths, and in that same time, someone could lose theirs. Fortunately, it only takes 30 seconds to save a lifetime. With hearts made of hope and solid gold, there is treasure within your chest, life within your grasp, the opportunity to continue living after passing these vital gifts from God stolen goods, only kept promises and genuine smiles. With kidney and liver disease plaguing our temples, there is salvation within your reach. Prayer in your palms, strength in your stride. We are given these gifts so that others may be present in this very moment, on this very day. Just one can save eight lives with the click of a button. You can keep a child, a mother, an uncle, a father living. Dodging and ducking the adversity of beeping machines patient clocks, excessive medication, and get well cards because not everyone is granted a second chance. It is only through the amazing grace of one life saving another, and for that alone, I thank you all in advance for your heart that pumps more love than blood. Those arteries like obstacles that push you through every second of every day. This poem is for you. For 